Very like, again, the word I want to use here is homey. Very, very nice. I do like... <clears throat> Hi, guys. I'm going to hold my cat. Today, we're going to go over uh, our shell challenge. Whoa, that's pretty cool. We're doing the shell challenge today. This is going to be the second rendition of said shell challenge. And a shell challenge is basically a house or a monstrosity that I create. And I think it's funny to make the weirdest and ugliest and biggest houses possible because it gives the community or chat a chance to shine in the creative department. So basically, I make the house, chat fills it up, it looks awesome, and we go from there. So I give chat 30 days to take my really ugly, nasty shell and turn it into something spectacular and fantastic to show to you guys, which is pretty cool. So the rules basically are, you have to take my shell, the giant nasty house that I usually make, because we've only done two and they've all been the same so far, big and weird, they're like labyrinths. You take the big house, you can't add anything to the external, it has to all be inside. You can change like the outside physicalness, but you can't add walls or anything like that. So you can change everything inside, but you can't add on to the outside. So it's a bit of a challenge to make this these houses look nice. Guys, there's no results. Nobody did it. Nobody did the challenge. I guess we're done. Oh, hey, it's on there. Oh, wow, nice. We got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good. Who commented on this? <laughs> okay. Oh God! <laughs> okay, guys, this is the house that I was talking about briefly. Notice how cool it looks. This is the backyard. It's really good and great. Pretty nice, right? So Chat's challenge is to make this an entirely livable house, and this is the inside. There's like four floors. Whoa, isn't that cool? Nice. Go down here. This is the front door, by the way. Let me start at the front door really quick. So you have to go up this way, right? To this nice little rainbow door. And also there's an escape in case you're an introvert like me and you need to go, uh, you know, leave. They don't want to answer the door. You can go out the back. So, naturally, you gotta walk in the front door. There's a double door, and then obviously there's a window so you can see who's looking at you, of course. I don't know if there's grass inside, just because, why not? There's a nice little window. And then, it goes downstairs. And initially this wasn't here, by the way. Right here. This wasn't here. But you basically, you go down the stairs, and then you have to go through this nice little labyrinth of doors. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's three rooms for no reason. Then once you make your way through the gauntlet, you go up this stair, and then up this stair, and then up this stair, and then you get to the top. Very architecturally sound. And then, I think that's it for that. But then you can go to the balcony, which is pretty cool, and there's a secret toilet too. Pretty nice, so you can be really friendly with your neighbors. Very cool. But the the whole thing that binds it together is this abom uh, this nice swimming pool back here. Very cool. Oh wow! Now we're in the backyard. Let's take a look. Ow. So you'll notice that the backyard is a hedge maze and a bunch of stairs. This was meant to test the community or chat's creativity to see how they can make this a function, functionable and living house. That's what we have to work with today. So then we get to go check out people's builds. All right. The very first rendition of Shell TG2 starring Blueberry Very Blues. So far, the exterior looks really cool. Okay, you weren't actually supposed to change any of this stuff. But that's okay. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I really like the backyard. That way you can jump off from the top 
But like if you fall, you can go into this. Okay, this is questionable at best. I can't show you the tree, but it's clipping right into the pool. Big flag, red flag. Look at the pool, dude. I like that, that's good. Okay, we go in the front door and we're greeted with an actual livable living room. This is not a house, right? I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a resort. I have no idea. I didn't check the description. <laughs> Very cool, though. This looks like a little bit of a hazard right here. Oh, it's a club. Okay. It's a club. Okay, my apologies. This is a club house. All right. Here we go. We're going to go downstairs. She heard club and she came right over. So the first thing we see is a type of bar slash lounge. And then I'm not really sure what this is. This must be like the warm up area to the dancing. Like, you know how, uh, is this a moist, uh, what is this? <laughs> is this, this must be like the part where they lube you up. So you get like a massage and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because th that would explain why there's a bunch of bathrobes. Also, I like that they're hanging on the glass. Okay, so it's like a hotel, I hope. <laughs> is that a see-through? Oh, it's a giant body. This is a club, huh? <laughs> I don't like that there's a little gnome staring at me, though. Are we sure this is a club? All right. Then we go up the stairs. You see some more fancy... What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, nice, a theater room. Very cool. And then we have the another lounge, which is really cool. I like this theme quite a bit, actually. I really like, like, the dark theme here. I like the bathroom, actually, quite a bit. Blueberry was genius with this. I think I get what they were going for here. I think. This is like a couple's bathroom. This is where you go to, like, bond with each other. You guys go at the same time while staring menacingly, menacingly at each other without blinking and going... And then, you know, it's a test of uh, your guys' relationship when people walk by. This is the disco dance party. You can tell because of this man, right? He's naked. <laughs> He's naked and winking. That's great. Another, another bar. Wow, lots of bars. Very cool. I feel like a very inspired jazz area. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought that was not a hand. And then we have a little romantic... Uh, seating area, really nice. Cool pictures, portraits. So you get to watch people swim, really. <laughs> okay, let's assume this is a place for you to spend the night. That's fine. Why is there a giant window? <laughs> I, you know, no, 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 it's a bonding thing. We figured it out up here in the bathroom. Pretty good. Honestly, solid. I don't know how Blueberry turned whatever I, like had into this but that is very impressive so well done okay <clears throat> another shell by Ringo this charming desert home may be confusing to navigate but it has all the necessities and amenities you could want living room kitchen game lounge study bedroom playroom yin yang pool topiary display room Fishingi pond bathroom balcony rainbow wool room sure there are some oddities but you'll love it here bald hairy <laughs> all right Ringo let's see what you got the first thing I noticed last time was this right here and then I moused over this because I've never seen a lemon of this ginormous proportions before oh a per well, that's cool a parrot I like the theme downstairs already very cool. Okay, so similar vibe, right? Similar vibe. We got a nice little swamp, but instead of being directly underneath, it was moved to the side. Is it quite the nice addition? And you can fish here. Okay, that's pretty cool. What is this? Is this the the bang bush? What is this? A little like camping area kind of. Cuz like when you're camping or something, don't you play the little horseshoe game? can barely see it but you can you can crawl underneath this the wizard hat is there so that's really cool and then the first room is a greenhouse that's nice 
So the first thing we see upon entering is Dumbo. <laughs> um, it's a cow. I thought this was a water cooler. It's just a plant that looks like one. Ooh, nice. We got a couple of sand pits so the kids can go play in there. Nice. They got a flamingo too. We go downstairs and then there's the nice cotton candy room. The llama wool. I don't know what this is for, but it's a nice addition to this interesting aesthetic of house. Check out the hallway. We got a rainbow fish and an escape hatch up here. This is, this is hard for me. Like, I can grab this because I have weirdly long arms. I think most people would not. <laughs> so, like, check this out, right? I'm in the kitchen. I walk down here, heating some, my steak up in the microwave, chilling with Yuta here. One of you guys from chat can sit in here and just watch me and Yuta talk and eat. That's cool. I like that. Good addition. And then we get to the... Oh, dude, this is looking nice. I like this. Now this is a room I would be proud to hang out in. I like this room too quite a bit. It's like a li it's like a li study library kind of. Very cool. Minus uh, minus points here. This 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 should not clip, and these need to be monochrome. You have one option: bath or nothing. <laughs> okay, this is too thinky for me. Too smarty. Dumb it down. Oh, I like that. Those paintings, though. Those look cool. That's the Commodore 64 set up there. I like it. Clean. Good take. All right. And then we have the lounge. Oh, the toilet stays. Plus 20 million points. The bathroom on the outside stays. Chat, you guys can play in here. Oh, my God. You guys can play with the chest and the doll thing. And the other doll house. Look at the pool. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's actually really sick right there. Very cool. That went way above me. Alright guys, this is Red's house. Whether you're a small family looking for a quiet retreat or spring breakers looking to partay. <laughs> this pala palatial? Oh, that's an eye. Vacation rental is something for you. A stylish swimming pool. A fishing, a fishing spot. And all the fresh lemon, you fucker, you could ever need. What are you waiting for? Book ticket uh, today. P.S. The owners prefer to keep themselves. Please do not disturb. Ask questions about the hedges. <laughs> oh, they keep to themselves. My bad. I can't read. All right. First thing uh, I want to notice. Terrible. Ugly. Garbage. Much better. Very nice. Wow, Red, do you... Okay. <laughs> First impressions. Wow, okay. I gotta say, the exterior... Really nice so far. Really, really, really nice. Oh, there's a fishing spot right here. I just realized that. Wow, okay. This is eccentric in a very good way. There had to have been a squirt gun to Red's head. The person holding the squirt gun said, make the best house you possibly can. So we'll start here. I like that you have a bathroom here for like passerbys. That's nice. I really like that. And you have a, you have a grill here as well. Is it for the lemons? We see an entire Disney movie in the hedges uh, coming soon to uh, VHS near you. I like that you kept this uh, this very, the woodsy feel here. This is nice. Oh, it looks you added on to upstairs. Interesting. Okay. So the first thing we see coming inside is a fridge gi and a microwave gi, of course. Oh, nice. A little lounge area. We got, we got the college lounge area for whoever wants to play Wonderwall. Nice, very cool. That's cool. I didn't know that was in the game. We have the lounge and we have a... Uh, Lemon tower, cool. What is this? This more lemon stuff? <laughs> we'll go down first. Oh my! Wow. Okay. First thing I see is the pig. Very cool uh, pig here. I like it. He brings the room together. It's very nice. Oh my god! And it has a ship. 
and it has a guy that pilots the ship an astronaut oh my god there's a secret downstairs oh it's the gnome's headquarter oh my god <laughs> again I'm a real big sucker for like tight knit very why in the holy hell is there random lemon <laughs> And then this connects to uh, the bedroom, it looks like. Oh my god! You get to watch people do Fashinga while you're trying to sleep! Dude, that's amazing! You get a Pepe laugh as you drift off into the night. Right on. Okay, then we'll follow this. Why, Red? There, it's just floating in space! <laughs> Why is there a lemon here? <laughs> there is just a random lemon! <laughs> is there a light here or is it just a lemon? It's just a lemon! <laughs> nice. Oh, look at this! I like this. Very, like, pleasant to look at. Oh god, what's down here? <laughs> Stupid. There's another lemon. <laughs> Go into the sweet kitchen. Very nice. Very cool. I like the brick. I feel like that would suck to walk on though. Or maybe it's tiled. I don't know. It looks... It's brick colored but tiled. Oh my god, Red. Why? <laughs> oh wow. Very cool. God damn it. There's another one. There's so many lemons. This is cool because you could put the kids like over here and ignore them and they just play with the toys while you're just you're watching the big game. I like this. This looks really nice. This looks really, really cool. Not only does it have like the uh, rainbow colors in the background, it just looks really pleasant to look at, especially with all the, the flowers. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh my God, there's more. Dude, what the heck? Oh, it goes outside! That's that's really cool. Massive lemon. Nice. Interesting. Hold on. Let's check this out. So this is like the attic. Right on. So we have a nice little room here. Very nicely decorated. Very minimal. But then we get to the cool swimming pool. There's a lemon in the pool! Are you kidding me? It's surrounded by lights. And then we get to the most debonair and elegant room. Hmm, yes. Very... May I take your lemon, sir? <laughs> Do you need a spot of lemon? Very home away from home. I hope this is real sand, too. Imagine going from tuxedo and suit to beach. I like that there's a semi... Very nice. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, okay, that's kind of hard to see. So security gnome leading down to the lo the 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 lemon trove and somehow there's a car <laughs> so it appears the gnomes have been stealing from the guests or residents at this house they have a bag of money they have multiple bags of gold oh my god they've been stealing from the residents for so long pretty good that house is insane. That was a lot to take in. I, I don't have words to describe how extraordinaire this house is. Yuda? How do you have 26 downloads? I accidentally used a wallpaper from Journey to Batu Pack LOL, but I think it won't affect anything because maybe I only used it on one wall GMM. Turn on BB move objects. <laughs> It stated that we're not allowed to delete the ladder outside because we don't know it's stated. Blah blah. blah. We assume it's okay to do so. 
Don't really know what to do with the backyard whatsoever. Also, it has a weird shaped pool because it's part of the shell. Okay, buddy. Yuna, what the hell? Why do you have like 80 packs here? Disqualified car. Cringe. No, there's no cars in Sims 4, bro. Only bikes. First impressions? Chat said it best. This is very clean looking. Very, very minimalistic, very clean. This feels very, um, posh. I feel like I have to be rich to even look at this house. I feel like an architect lives here. So this is the street view. Pretty nice, actually. Wow, that is really nice looking. I just realized that this is a beat, like, this is really nice. I feel like I'm underdressed to walk, to look at this even. This is what you would see when you go to a six-figure job interview, and this is the lobby. You see something like this, right? You see like a koi fish pond. You see this tree in the middle that's that goes upwards in, in, inside. There's a sky roof. Like, this is really nice. Good fern design. Nice stuff here, too. Oh, my God. Look how clean this looks. Where are the hedges? I'm deducing points. You got rid of this, too. So the first thing we do when we go inside, the first room you see... I actually feel like I need to go put on some fancy clothes. <laughs> oh, I quite like that. This is weirdly nice because you come over here. And I don't know why, but this feels like it shouldn't. It feels like a secret. When you go in here, it's a bathroom. It's like hidden, but not quite. First thing you see, fridge gi. Second thing you see, microwave gi. And then door gi. Ooh, look at that massive. Oh my god, that's too big. What is the room? Oh my, dude, it's got the stairs walking down. And then you have your nice little bar here. This is how you know the person that lives here is incredibly wealthy because they don't have like an array or a cellar of wine. They just have like each bottle here is like 20,000 grand. Very cool living room here. Very nice. Did I say living room? I'm a dining room. Sorry. If I paid Yuda at all, this would be his house. All right, let's go upstairs. You ready? Fuck off. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Imagine installing that piano. Well, we won't think of specifics because that is one nice room right there. I like that quite a bit. You have the whole entertainment system here. Very cool, very cozy. This would be really nice to just chill out and watch like movies and TV stuff, you know? Or a stream, you know? God, that's so nice looking right there. That's just such a nice view. I'm out of breath from climbing the ladder and the first thing I see is just this angelic piano surrounded by this tapestry of nice like blinds. And then you have the Pixar lamp here. That's just cool. I don't know why, but I've always wanted like a weird a house with like a like a, like a thing like this. Just a nice little like a little way a walkway that's kind of outside but not really outside. It's got the nice like glass pane stuff here or whatever. Uh, the hedges on the exit. It's like it's basically like the illusion of going outside without actually going outside. The first thing we see when we come into this room, a door. Where does the door go? Dude, whoa, this is cool. It's kind of a pain to have to watch your wash your uh, stuff in here. Cause like if somebody's in here, obviously you can't, right? But really nice regardless. You have the plant protecting you in case you leave the door open for some reason when you're taking a shower. And you have the nice open window view. And he has another entertainment system. Another one. Okay, this is like a dorm right here. This is kind of cool. I love the small like paintings, just like one or two. It's nothing crazy, nothing eccentric. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's an art room. That makes sense. I like that when you're walking through, you can see, what the hell? 
Well, for some reason, if you're feeling the need to, you could literally just walk on the balcony and there's a... <laughs> this is a cool room. Whoa. Okay, this is this is Yuta's room right here. It's like, it's so clean. It's so well put together. This is the total polar opposite of my room. Dude, look at this. That is such a nice bathroom, dude. So nice. Okay, this is unrealistic. There's no way you have medals of exercising. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh, wow. That's cool. This right here is a cool little like balcony on balcony kind of thing. The last room of the house is this nice yin and yang poolside thing. <laughs> it's almost like a hotel, but with a homey feel. Home away from home, but also not quite. I don't know how to describe it in words. It's a really cool house overall. It's like eye candy. It looks all really nice visually. Everything melds really well. It contrasts perfectly with each other. I would be proud to live at this house. No problems at all. Are you ready for Pink Castle by 20 something? Can't read the last part? All right. Uh, Joe's Pink Castle complete with a fishinga. <laughs> as it's my favorite thing to do. The backyard and the second floor are probably the best. All right, let's see if that's true. Here we have Lee's Pink Castle. Wow, it starts out really nice. <laughs> oh, this is Slothy. Ah. So we have Slothy in the front, putting on a show for nobody because there's crease in the way. I like how it's just like a nice grouping of vegetables. Oh my god, is this the legendary Fushinga area that we talked so highly about? I like the little baby flamingo. He's taking his first dip. If you can tell, he's about to dip his little toe in the... <laughs> You got this secret backyard that nobody's aware of, right? Except if you go through the door. But if you if you brave the hedge maze, which I like this, the door here, it's very open and inviting. Um, you got your propane and propane accessories, which is pretty neat. Just, I feel like this is like a chill area you would go at at night just to hang out and vibe, you know? I like that a lot of you guys have not changed this room. Like the wallpaper and stuff has changed. Or hasn't changed. What? Wallpaper. The uh, flooring. I'm new to this game, I promise. You know, it's a greenhouse, right? You can grow whatever you want in here. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. All right. Here's the balcony. This is already the best part of the house because of this. <laughs> it's got that chill summer vibe. What is this? Is this like related to the Pixar lamp guy? Oh, it's a... I love the vaporwave aesthetic here. I really like this. Every time I see this, it reminds me of Costco. And Costco has good food. First thoughts. I like it. I feel like this is the... This is... Okay, this is... I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. I walk down the stairs, I feel at home. And that's not a bad thing, but the first vibe I get is this feels like a very, very much a... Uh, a loungy man cave kind of aesthetic for me. All right, whose room is whose? That is so cool looking. I don't know why, but I cannot take my eyes off of this. That is really pretty. Look at the colors in the order. Okay, that's clever. I am glad you pointed that out because I never would have. <laughs> Are these, wait, how many smoke detect? <laughs> you plan on making lots of friction down here? Is that what's, uh, what's up with the smoke detectors? Those are lights. Moving on. Oh, another room. Very nice. That is weird. I don't think I've ever seen a mirror like that. So it's like a mirror, but also a storage space. I'm not sure what the word is. I don't know style at all, but I really like this theme. The only thing it's missing right here is a cauldron. Ooh, nice. The classic. Instead of... <laughs> this wins my heart. I, I'm pretty sure that's a monocle. 
I, I choose to think this is a monocle. Like, this is really nice looking. The color is just so appealing. If I had all of the tools to make this room, I would just put like a sofa in the middle. If I had to theme this in a word, I would say dessert. It feels like strawberry shortcake to me. I don't know why. First thought, thought it was a bathroom. Then I saw the fridge. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, first of all, this is massive. I feel like you are required by law in this house to wear socks specifically in this room so you can slide around as you're cooking stuff. Oh, nice. We found a spot for chat. Oh, look, it's for you guys. And then we have another nice little gardening area. This right here is a moon. Now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts on this real quick? Lee, just really fast. Uh, how much alcohol did you have that night? Roughly. You don't have to tell me specifically, just roughly. I saw the bathroom sign, immediately thought it had to be changed to a bathroom. This brings it together. This is the pink castle within a castle. You have to be very smart to understand this. What this stands for in our economic uh, situation right now. And the, the cool part of the house that's very similar in every situation, the yin and yang pool. You'll notice that Flamingo Jim over here is on duty. He's the lifeguard. I think that these two rooms are tied for me for my favorites. I can't get over how good this looks and how minimalistic and nice this is. It's just so clean. Overall, fantastic house. Pink's a good look. Very nice. Now we have Corporate Prison by Poco. Someone has enslaved the gnomes, using them for a streaming and tech empire. Who is behind this evil scheme? And who and will the chosen one save them all? Only I can find out. That does look like my handwriting. Alright, so this is a prison. This clearly looks like a prison. That's a lot of bathrooms or prison cells. I'm not sure which one's which. I love that you didn't you like this speaks to me right here oh my god hide your shame my guy oh they're actual bathrooms <laughs> wow okay minus 10 points for removing all of the hedges but plus 10 and then 5 because the fish and all this this looks really nice there's a helicopter fully functional helicopter toy I like the floating duck too. It's good. That's pretty that that's pretty corporate right there. Wasting tons of money on a massive duck in a helicopter. Very corporate. I like that. My theory with this particular lobby is that you have to take a seat and then you watch a video on how <laughs> you will become the sad clown. I like the lack of safety rails here. So you could cowabunga into this, and then obviously nobody's crazy enough to hop in here. Unless they aim for this, the garbage can. So let's go downstairs. And we're immediately met <laughs> with, uh, with bunk beds. If you guys listen real carefully, he says, please help. Let me out. Let me out. Oh my god. <laughs> This is crazy because this absolutely feels like I'm watching one of those movies that takes place in the future where everybody has like a very strict nine to five routine. Are those tombstones? Oh my God. <laughs> Not only do you have to do a nine to five here at this prison, right? You go do your morning routine. You have to run like a full sprint. Okay. You go up the, the ladder. Wait, is that missing? <laughs> you have to gamble right it's your first day on the job you choose the wrong ladder you look like an idiot you have to you have to do sag crawl down it and then you have to go up the right one you go up here the first thing you see horrifying mr grimace and then you see corporate robot and then you see um the house you'll never have 
Then you have to go through somebody's room. I don't know whose room this is. This must be the warden's room. So you have to wait in line right here. You know, you have to do a, a, an orderly gnome line until the warden's ready and wakes up. Then you guys have business meeting. How the hell do you get in the room below? <laughs> I'm assuming this is supposed to be the door. After you do all your stuff, you have to you have to come all the way back up here. So this is a door, right? It's a, it's a secret door. It's it's not you have to you have to go through it like Harry Potter. And then you work your 9 to 5. You have to peepo chat. Then the gnomes stay here all day and they do IT for people. This guy doesn't even have a computer. <laughs> Surprise twist. <laughs> The gnomes are led by an alien. This man isn't even at the ex he's he's at the table, but he's not even talking. He's just playing with a pig. And then we have, you know, this is the venting booth. What what? <laughs> Glorious to lunch. Wow, that was that was a, that was a, that was a trip. That was good. That was really well done. Nicely done, Poco. That was That was fantastic. Last but not least, Edna Snidey. Initial thoughts? Is cottage core the right terminology? It's very like woodsy, very woodlandy. The aesthetic here, and then the uh, this particular area screams like woodland. Also the bike. Let's take a look at the back. You kept the hedges, very nice. You added a, uh... why is this child left alone? <laughs> Why does this child have access to three margaritas? Edna, explain yourself. I like it though. You know, with the exception of underage drinking here, pretty cool. Is that a bathtub? <laughs> we have a nice garden aesthetic. First thing that catches my eye, obviously this section here, very cool. Thank you for keeping the nasty stairs. I know they were hard to use, but thank you. So nice we have a little cottage core stuff, you know? Nice little living uh, wall tree thingy. Ooh, I like that. You have like a little like one of those things where it, it, you can lean on and like kind of take in the air without going outside. You can stub your you stuff your face in this right here, which is nice. And then obviously we have the bang bush, very cool. Very fancy. And you kept the aesthetic. Thank you. I know it was hard, but thank you for doing that. The inside immediately screams, you have farm animals running around. That's nice. Your hens can literally leave. <laughs> Your guests can also crawl out the hole. I like that you have a, uh, a public bathroom to put on a spectacle. Nice wall here. Nice wall. Lots of, uh, lots of life in this house. Ooh, I like this. It's like, it's like a creative messy. I like it. Somebody forgot to cook the fish. Unless this is normal in the UK. It's sushi <laughs> dummy. <laughs> I kind of like this too, because it's like, again, it gives you the idea of nature without having to actually adventure into said nature. I think that's cool. And this is very homely right here. This right here is really cool. I would like... To actually make it's like it's really it's small but it, it feels like there's a lot to it what is this is this a Roomba what the hell do we have here <laughs> I have so many questions is that is this supposed to be is this your secret weed room <laughs> thanks for the ball, follow buddy appreciate it oh wow that's cool what the <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Make the jokes you are you're already going to make. I know you will. Just go ahead. Go ahead. This one This one's nice cuz it's got Todd here. And then it's got little cat looking out the I think that's a window. So, did you make a sim and then take in-game pictures? Did you do that? Cuz that attention to detail right there is incredible. Ooh. Now this is interesting. There's one toilet, but three sinks. Ah, thank you, Red. These are also urinals, but hmm, they must triple also. 
Oh my god. That is a lot of memes packed into one picture. <laughs> and then we have the wall of the cats. That is weirdly wholesome. So we have... We have Todd. And I want to say this is Little Cat. That's Leela. I like that you got the one side of her so it only has one eye. <laughs> and then this must be Zuzu. And this is the streamer. Wow, okay. <laughs> Why does it have kerosene? <laughs> Oh my god, there's more pictures. This is Leela. I think that's Zuzu. That's Little Cat. Why the hell is there a gnome? <laughs> that must be Todd. There's Little Cat again. Ah, she's on the Roomba! There's Old Cat. There's Toddles doing his Todd thing. That's you! Ah, okay. Alright, here we go. We have the Tears of a Clown Room. Very, very nice. What is this? Is this a Gamba machine? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How to take away the Gamba! Very cool little man cave. I like it a lot. It's got the pizza, it's got the gaming book. Very nice aesthetic. Lots of little minor things that add up to like create life in a room. And we come over here into the old, the old room. We got a vanity mirror. We got the sweet shroom. Nice. I love the fishless tank. That's good. Great attention to detail. I would never be able to hold fish in there for very long. Dead pink whale. <laughs> very woodland aesthetic. Oh, I like that color of the door. So you turn the, the, the bathroom, I think, into this. I think. Very like... Again, the word I want to use here is homey. Very, very nice. I do like... Wasn't that kid drinking? How'd he get over? <laughs> Ooh, this is really nice. We got the gnome lounge. Oh. <laughs> so, tonight's entertainment, you guys might not have heard of them. They, uh, they perform indie rock. Uh, give it up for uh, B-Flap. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Then you have DJ Flamingo over here. Well, I guess it's DJ Flamingo Gnome Riding Flamingo. And I really like this too. So like one misstep, bam. You get a chill with your broken leg and unwind to some sweet TV. I like that. But man, do we have the best part of the house. What the hell? <laughs> okay. This is really cool aesthetically. This is very cool. It's very red roomy. And then apparently you can get up there and, um... Can you get up there? <laughs> is some kind of entertainment room where one could dance for money. Not good, good touch with the, with the wildlife and, and the water and the, the lemons. So last but not least, we have a, the Yin Yang Lounge, the pool, the overhead, tropical experience. Uh, I don't know what these are. Can you dive off of, why, is this a diving thing? Can you jump up here or what's the point of this? I feel like this might be a hazard. You don't want to climb this. This is a really nice area. I also really like the aesthetic of the massive lemon. I think that's really cool. Edna, I gotta say, very impressive. Definitely a little biased in the take here, but the attention to detail to not only make a sim to look like me with the magical mullet, I don't have a mullet by the way, but the small attention to detail in these pictures also to make four cats as well is extremely, is extremely impressive. Fantastic, perfect, amazing. Everybody today that participated has blown me away with their creativity 
ingenious when it comes to making this. Not only did you guys take, again, to recap, you guys took something that didn't belong and you molded it into something somewhat believable given the conditions of the house. Very creative, very impressive.